Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Zeal, and today I wanted to talk about different ways that we can deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Jesus. Isn't that exciting? Oh, my gosh. No, it's, it's tough. It is so tough sometimes to deny ourselves and take up that heavy, burdensome cross and follow Jesus and Jesus alone, right? And so some ways that I'm, I was just thinking about like, Lord, how do we fully deny ourselves? Sometimes that looks like not talking back when we want to, taking control of our mouth over our tongue, right? Not, not doing certain facial expressions that could offend and hurt other people, or just staying quiet or speaking up when we feel uncomfortable to speak up. What are other ways that we could deny ourselves in our marriage, serving our spouse and after, after an argument? <laughs> Helping our children after they get on their nerves, you know? <laughs> also serving our friends and family in ways that sometimes may be uncomfortable. Are we willing to be uncomfortable for the kingdom? Um, there's so many different things. Getting up and praying when the Lord is telling us at three in the morning when we don't feel like it and our bed feels nice and warm or just what is God calling you to do? Being obedient and denying ourselves, denying this flesh. Sometimes denying ourselves looks like fasting and praying for longer than we would like to. Sometimes denying ourselves looks like just taking captive our thoughts and declaring the word of God when we really want to fall into depression and fear because it's so easy. It's so easy to do that. How can we deny ourselves today and show Jesus we're really serious about our walk with him. And I'm not saying earn your salvation. I'm not saying be perfect. And if you've messed up that it's all ruined and you're just, are you really serious about God? Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, how can we deny ourselves in this season when people really need to see the light and the salt of the earth thriving in the things of God, thriving in the kingdom and thriving and standing on the principles and the love of Jesus in ways that the world has not seen in a long time miracles can take place we can walk in power like never before and we can see god moving on our behalf when we deny ourselves take up our cross and follow him i hope that encourages somebody don't beat yourself up with condemnation with this but ask the lord what are some areas lord that i need to deny myself that i've been entertaining fleshly things or fear or um, not fully following through. Show me, Lord, if I don't already know. And if we already know, let's ask God for his grace because his grace is sufficient in our weakness. Amen. I love you so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.